55 here. What up? What up? So I'm a professional counselor, right? And if I had Kachan sitting in my office, I would ask him, Kachan, at what point do you give yourself a break? Deku's quirk, one for all, and Shigaraki's quirk, all for one, they're all unfair. You literally have one quirk that can be involved. And I clearly see that Endeavor is an excellent example of where a hero can go when they push themselves, chasing the impossible dream of keeping up with such a quirk. So I see the positives, the negatives in your goal, but all I would say is that you must keep this in mind. Deku's and Tomura's quirks are unfair. Let's talk about Shigaraki's new power for a second. So he has super strength, but he is not as strong as All Might. But it doesn't sound like fist fighting him is a good idea. On top of that, you're not the only one who's improving. He is too. Endeavor said it himself during the fight that he's getting better with his movements as the fight goes on. If that wasn't enough, he has regeneration powers now. So in the event that your bomb quirks hit him hard, he regenerates. And he also has new quirks that can pop up every episode or so. Did I forget to mention that he can steal your quirk, by the way, and give it to someone else? And that's assuming that Shigaraki doesn't already have your quirk or something like it. Did I mention that Shigaraki said that the quirks that his master has been stockpiling felt like they were with him since he's been born? And by the way, Kachan... I don't know if you knew this, but Endeavor literally set the nigga on fire and Shigaraki just stood there and stared at him. What are you and your little quirk going to do against that? Like Torino probably labeled him that. He's unfair. So give yourself a break. All that being said, I do congratulate you on your wisdom and mentioning that if the other heroes knew about Deku's quirk, then they would probably start trying to protect him. I give you great wisdom in that because you saved a bunch of people and drew him and Deku had the same idea into an area where they could fight him for now. In either case, much props for that. So yes, while it's good that you try to keep up with a quirk like Deku's all for one, his Shigaraki's one for all. I can see that it will take you to great heights, but at the same time, don't don't make yourself crazy. It's just too much. It's too much. But you, much like Endeavor, due to your obsession to be great and your excessive determination, has decided that you could be highlighted even without it. Now Let's discuss the rest of this episode in general. So, Kohei, the author of My Hair Academia, has done two great things with this series that was exemplified in this episode. One, he made it so that every time I see a character on the screen, I'm excited because no character is wasted. Two, he's a master at building tension. Just having Endeavor come after Shigaraki full force was insane. And any time... Prior to Shigaraki's awakening, Endeavor coming after Shigaraki full force probably meant death or he was done. To show the growth of Shigaraki and how much his powers have developed, Endeavor pins him down and then starts to call other heroes for help. That's how much of a problem he is. And you have to give Endeavor props for that because he recognized the danger of the situation Instead of just trying to handle it on his own. Shigaraki going after Midoriya. That also builds tension. Because we're kind of waiting for this clash between these two. And we know that Deku's going to have to go plus Ultra now. Or Shigaraki is going to kill him. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'd be lying to say that I don't have a feeling that at some point. Uh, Kachan might be humiliated. Because of Shigaraki's new power. 